This video is going to show you how to work with negative exponents. So just a couple of quick things about negative exponents. If I have something like x to the negative 2 power, in order to make my negative exponent positive, I'm going to bring it to the denominator or form the reciprocal. So this is equal to 1 over x squared. The same thing is true if I have something already in the denominator. So if I have 1 over a to the negative fourth, in order to make this positive, I'm going to bring it to the numerator to make this a to the fourth. What you have to be careful about is when you have other things involved. So for example, if I have x to the negative third y squared, the only thing that's negative is the x to the negative third. So that y squared isn't going to stay. It's, I'm sorry, that y squared isn't going to move. It's going to stay in the numerator, y squared over x to the third. So let's take a look at some practice problems. Rewrite using positive exponents. So I have 2a to the negative fifth over b squared. The only negative exponent is the a, so that's the only piece that's going to be moving. So I'm keeping my 2 and I'm keeping my b squared. In order to make that a a positive 5, I'm going to move it to the denominator. And that's it. Let's look at another one. The expression 2a to the negative fourth is equivalent to, and then I have four answer choices. So my negative 4 is being given to the whole parentheses, so that means the entire parentheses of 2a is moving to the denominator to make it a positive 4 power. And then your other laws of exponents tell you that when you have a exponent on the outside of parentheses, each piece inside gets that. So this is 1 over 2 to the fourth a to the fourth. So 2 to the fourth is 16. So this is 1 over 16a to the fourth. Choice 4. Here's another example. The expression a squared b to the negative third over a to the negative fourth b squared is equivalent to so once again, only the negative exponents move. So I'm going to take my negative 4 and bring it up I'm going to take my negative 3 and bring it down. So a squared in the numerator and b squared in the denominator are staying because they were positive exponents, so they do not move. That a to the negative fourth goes up to the numerator as a to the positive fourth, and that b to the negative third comes down to the denominator as b to the positive third. Then applying my laws of exponents that I know, when I multiply, I add. So this becomes a to the sixth, over b to the fifth, choice one.